Good morning. Uh, we've had several requests on doing hand launch and, and hand catching videos. Uh, we were recently down in Florida and found that that was something a lot of people had requested. So today we're going to teach that. So the first thing we're going to do is we're just going to walk through the steps without actually doing it. And to explain this just without flying, we're just going to do that first and then we'll actually go through and talk it through as we're actually doing it. So our first step that we're going to be doing is we're going to be bringing the drone down to us at eye level and sideways to you. And I normally suggest people do it in, in uh, sport mode because that turns off all your sensors so your drone's not going to be trying to move around and move away from you so have it have it in sport mode move it down and have it sideways to you and then hit your c1 button or if you've changed that mapping operation make sure your your gimbal is facing down and from then the next move is you're going to be placing your hand flat it looks like it didn't uh, you're going to bring it up underneath the drone and as soon as that drone starts to rise a little bit, your, it sees your hand as the ground. From the next, you're going to be pushing down a little bit on your left, or I shouldn't say down a little bit, push all the way down on your left stick. And then you're going to be watching for your gimbal on the camera. As soon as it starts to rotate to the level position, it's gone into landing mode. And you're going to change your hand from a flat position to a catching position. And also, at the same time, you're going to release the left hand joystick and, and not be touching any of your controls in your controller because the drone is going to come down to your hand and you're going to catch it. Okay, so you, you basically your whole concentration is on capturing that drone. And once, once you've got the drone in your hand, just wait and let it stop. The motors will stop. Don't move your hand up, down, anywhere because that will mess it up on, on the command on to stop the motors. So now, next step, let's do a hand launch. And from that, hold your controller like this, so that it's resting in your palm like this. And then, what you're going to do is use the auto launch button, and just tap that. Oh, there we go and then hold that down. Once that's all green, as soon as you let go, your motors are gonna start. So once it's all green, put the drone above your head here, release that button, and let it pull itself out of your hand. Don't just release it, let it pull itself out of your hand. Okay, now we're actually going to do the hand catch and the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put my controller in sport mode. Okay, now I'm going to bring the drone to me so that it's with an arm's length. And now I'm going to bring it that bring it down so it's at eye level. And I put my hand under it and it raises. And then I am going to bring the drone down. Release that and go into the capture. So that basically covers the hand launch and hand catch. Uh, the first thing I need to let you know is make sure that you have good command and control of your aircraft before you even attempt this. If, if you're an absolute beginner, do not do this. As any kind of a hand catch, there is a element of danger. So uh, if, if you're not reasonably competent in basic controls then don't do it. Number two, a lot of people ask, well why don't you, when you bring your drone down, why don't you walk up to your drone? And I say no because of the fact that you're looking up at your drone and if you're looking up at your drone you're not sure what your ground is like and uh, it wouldn't be a good thing if you tripped and stumbled and fell into your gun. So bring your drone to you. 